Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I just wanted to talk about 10 things that the L word did correctly. This video is really a twin video to my other video where I'm mostly complaining about the L word and all the problems I had with it, which of course are many, but at the end of the day I talk about the show because I love the show and I complain about the show because I love the show. The show was incredibly important not only to me but to millions of people around the world. And the show is historically important and not just because we saw Jennifer Bills kissing another woman. Although if I'm honest that is the main reason I love the show, let's just um, get on with the video. So here are 10 things that the L word got really really right. It was the first ever lesbian centric TV show in history. It changed the whole landscape of lesbian representation forever. It is a huge milestone for lesbian representation on the screen. And before that, lesbians didn't really have anything that was just for them. There was lesbian visibility on screen before the L word, but really we were just a side feature and of course there were no other shows that were completely centric to lesbians or queer women and how they lived their lives. The show showed an incredible diversity of lesbians and queer women and didn't just represent lesbians as a homogenous group. Having just more than one lesbian character was groundbreaking for television and the show not only gave us you know a couple of lesbian characters it gave us quite a lot of lesbian and queer female characters and at the time that was completely unheard of but still very much needed. And that brings me on to female representation in general. I think even if you put the sexuality side of things aside, which is quite difficult to do in the L word, but if you put it aside you're still left with this diverse representation of women and a show which looks at women and their desires and the way in which they live their lives, which again was groundbreaking to television back then. There are some really potent messages in the L word about not only what it is to be a lesbian in society but also what it is to be a woman and the L word did an incredible job of bringing women's voice to the screen. The friendship chemistry. Alice, Dana and Shane had just this incredible friendship chemistry. The casting was fantastic. You really did believe that they were all friends and they were funny. The show was wild. Literally zero zero were given in this show. The show really didn't apologise for anything, it really came to say what it had to say and again this made for groundbreaking television. I mean did the show get a little too wild towards the end? Yeah but th this is a positive video so we won't talk about that and also I think the fact that it was so wild again also goes to its merit. Season 1 of The L Word is some of the best television I've ever seen period across the board. The writing was absolutely fantastic. It was authentic authentic, it was believable, the dialogue was organic, it was thoughtful, there was no such thing as a filler character in the L word and the storylines in the earlier seasons were diverse and interesting. It was incredibly well cast, I can't even think of anybody who I could replace with another actor in the L word. The cast all did a fantastic A plus job and none of the actors were afraid to put everything they had into the roles as well. So not only was the show incredibly well cast but you had actors who understood the project and completely committed to it. The cast is just chef's kiss, really fantastic bunch of actors and yes, the relationships the women had with each other. Now I'm not only talking romantic relationships but I'm also talking the friendships women had with each other because not only were we offered lesbian representation in terms of seeing lesbian couples on screen, we were also offered female friendship and the L word gave us a variety of female friendships and relationships. You know we just had scenes of women enjoying each other's company and just hanging out and of course there was a great diversity of romantic relationships and entanglements which made the show as rich as it was. Tibet. They they called it the ship of dreams and uh, it really was. When I think of the OG of lesbian ships I do think of Tibet. Tibet weren't the first lesbian couple on screen but I think they are undoubtedly one of the best. This is partially due to again the casting, the actors really weren't afraid to to take it there a hundred percent and give it everything that they had and also their chemistry was just 
insane. They offered great representation that was believable and kind of intoxicating to watch. Also Jennifer Bills. Yeah. I don't know what Laurel did in a past life, but it must have been good to land a job where you're paid to kiss Jennifer Bills. How do you even recover from that after it after it ends? And finally, we have Bet Porter in a suit. This is my channel. What did you expect? <sighs> Jennifer Bills is like a Greek statue, and when you put her in a suit, you know, the lesbian population rises, I feel like. I don't love all the outfits in the L word, but I, I did appreciate Jennifer Bills bills radiating daddy vibes in a suit and yes that is that's the that's the thing the l word got the most correct is it shallow perhaps but is it true yes absolutely okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any thoughts or comments about anything else you think the l word did right please let me know down below down below Mm. Please let me know in the comments section don't forget to subscribe for it's a disappointment and i'll see you guys soon bye